Recently, I installed an aftermarket hitch to a 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee. And after installing it all, I realized the trailer lights were not activated from the dealership. I called around and they were going to charge me about 130 bucks to take it in and get them activated. So I did some research and found another solution. Thought I would share that with everybody. Um, the only thing you're going to need is a phone and an OBD link reader. Um, I happened to have one sitting around when I did it. They do sell them on Amazon for about $13. It does matter which one you have for this. So check out their website to make sure yours will work or order the cheap one. So first thing you're going to want to do is just plug in that OBD reader to your vehicle. For those who haven't done this, it's usually right under the dash. It's just that guy right there. So we're going to plug it in and turn our vehicle to the on run position. Once you have it hooked up and your car in the on position, get on your phone and go to settings. Going to go into your connections and connect a Bluetooth device. If it doesn't show up, there should be a button on the reader to put it in pairing mode. Depending on the model you have. Once it's there, just go ahead and connect. It'll pair to it. All right, once you're connected, you want to go into the App Store, Play Store if you're using an Android, and search for JScan. You're going to download OBD JScan. Once you have that installed, open it up, and the first thing that shows up is a list of vehicles. This will work for a Chrysler Dodge Ram Jeep. Um, we're doing a Grand Cherokee. Once you hit your vehicle, it's going to ask how to connect. We're going to use our OB link. Once you're in, it'll probably pop up and say your vehicle isn't registered. What you need to do is go to settings, go down to manage licenses. And in here, you will need to purchase the top one VIN license, $22.99. I've already purchased it for this vehicle. And once you've done that, go to adaptation. And if you scroll down third from the bottom, you'll see trailer settings. In here, you've got six options. If your vehicle did not come with a tow package. All these are most likely turned off. The top one you do not need as it's for trailer brakes. The other five we are to turn on. So just click the second one, change it to active, OK, and go. You see it's a very quick process. We're going to do that for all options with the exception of the top. And that is all there is to it. Now the trailer lights are active and they will work. Thanks for watching.